If I ever been whipped by a freaking turkey. <laughs> God almighty, I'm still. <laughs> I was sitting there, I came in here this morning. And I didn't get much footage at all. It's Easter Sunday. I was like, I'm gonna go. I just had a burning sensation last night to go. And uh, I woke up this morning like, I'm not getting out of bed. Well, I just kept feeling it. I'm like, man, I gotta go. And uh, I got up here and I pulled in and I started easing around through here. And they started gobbling way out there. And I heard a Jake or something gobble right here close. And I just started slipping around this road. I just wanted to get up on the other side of this green stuff. And um, I didn't make it. There was a little Jake up in a tree right here about 75 yards. And I could not move. He had me. Which he gobbled twice. I just dropped to the ground. And he still didn't know I was there. And I was standing about right here. I just got on the ground and crawled over in this little briar bush. And just hunkered down and hoped and man I heard him that one flew down that way and then I heard this one fly down right in here somewhere about 150 yards and then all of a sudden I just heard boom I was like oh man he's coming well he circles up and around me and he's up here above me and I can see up here above me now but I could not see it through there through that briar bush and uh, I could see what, where he was at now, if I would have known he was there, I'd have stood up and shot him. I'd have got up on my knees and looked up over this briar bush because I could have killed him. But I didn't know that while I was sitting there. And there, I don't know how many times he would, I'd hear him come up, he'd spit drum there, they would hear, and then he'd work his way up, and he'd work back down. And he'd work back up, and he'd work back down, and I tried everything. I, I even pulled out my slate call, started purring a putt, and cut it at him, put it at him, aggressive called, shut up, soft called, and he just whooped me. He did not want to come in, but he had a hen with him. And I never knew he had that hen with him and she started yelping up there. That thing spit drum within a hundred yards of me for almost an hour and a half. That's as tore up as I've ever been in my life. I couldn't get a good place to sit. I was just dying, man, my back was cramping. I just cramped up in this little old briar bush. It's just fun to be out here when they're doing that. I just had the burning notion last night to come out here and I just thank the Lord for the opportunity, I reckon. Couldn't ask for no better. I mean, he was right there. If I knew he was right there in that little woods, I could have just stood up and went Pow! Cause it ain't 50 yards right there and I can see all of it now from right here. And he come up here once up far enough for me to be able to do that. I don't know if I could have squeezed any shots through there, but I screwed. I should have just went on up there and spooked that Jake. What if, what if, what if, and I should, I should, I should have. Don't matter now. <laughs> oh man, well, I reckon I'll probably try to self film Wednesday or Thursday, one of those two days. Uh, Dad goes back to work. Wednesday and Thursday, so he went back to work yesterday. He's off today, and then he works Wednesday and Thursday, so I reckon I'm gonna go get in the truck. I wish, really wish I would have seen that Jake up there sooner. Because as I'm walking out, I realize if right there, right there's where I was sitting, is it's brighter. If I would have just sat right there at this little base, this little tree, he'd come up to there and at least got in that little opening over there. Cause he's got sat down right up here like this. I mean, I could have had a couple holes through there to shoot that sucker. Cause he was right there. I mean, literally like right in there on the other side. But that's why they call it turkey hunting and not turkey shooting. Anyway, I'm gonna go stop some gate holes and call and see what happens. Other than that, I reckon I'm gonna head home. I'll see y'all tomorrow.
these birds like to roost up in the road. And last night, Dad come down here and roosted them and spooked them down over the over the road down here beside the river so that they wouldn't be on top of the road and get spooked by a vehicle again. But they just gobbled and they're all the way across the river. So we're gonna try to slip down this edge right here or down in the woods. There's a river that runs down through here and it's got a bunch of big green open patches in it. I know it don't look like it'd be green this time of year, but it's actually spring, believe it or not. But we're gonna slip down here and get set up and see what we can do.
right at us. Blackberry then. Just sitting there, drinking my coffee and eating a Pop-Tart. 